now. Shocking footage has been leaked showing how the deadly school shooting at a Texas elementary school unfolded back in May. You might, as a warning, find this next footage distressing. The clip shows the 18-year-old gunman entering the school and walking down the hallway unhindered while carrying an assault rifle. The leaked video puts further pressure on local police who have already been criticised for their slow response. One officer is seen, unbelievably, stopping to use hand sanitizer. all the while the shooting spree was taking place. Families had pressurised local authorities to release the footage, but the mayor of Vivaldi criticised the press for doing so. There was no reason for those families to have to see. All I've seen is the first little segment of four minutes, but there's no reason for the families to have to see that. I mean, they were going to see the video, but they didn't need to see the gunman coming in and hear the gunshots. They don't need to relive that. They've, mm -hmm. they've been through enough. And that was the most chicken way to put this video out today. Now, that footage is incredibly shocking with all the police officers just standing around. Um, James, do you think it was right to leak this? I think on the basis that nobody really wanted to tell the truth. Mm. And nobody wanted to tell the truth about what happened. And yes, it is distressing. And I, and I kind of agree with the mayor that they don't need to see it. But they kind of do need to see it because these poor people, yeah. they want closure. Yeah. And they want to know whether the lives of their children, their loved ones, um, you know, because this is going to damage their lives for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. They, they want to know what happened. Yeah. And they're going to have to, at some point, have these really terrible and difficult conversations with the authorities to say, how did this happen? Yeah. Why did you allow it to happen? What was going through your minds? And, uh, and having a proper... Uh, and, inquiry about it and I think the media is fed up if you like of of having to sort of couch around this and not release it when they've got it to say what was going on I think yeah. that it's right the media press and I'm really you know really upset I think for the families that they have to go through this and they have to sit but guess what they, they have to go through the, the terrible heartache as I said for the rest of their lives anyway so I think they need to get to the bottom of it they need closure I 100% agree with you I mean you've got to look when when you're dealing with something like this what is the public interest I can hardly mm. think of a more overwhelming public interest yeah. than seeing how those officers so many of them all armed to the teeth stood there and did nothing and there needs to be an absolute second by second mm. investigation mm. and analysis why did the rea they react the way they did and look it's impossible to put yourself in the place of the bereaved families no one wants to even begin to try to put yourself in those shoes but i think if i were in that position mm. i would want the police to be criticized mm. and for everybody to know just how my child was let down and I I find it beggar's belief that so well, many men you know that, arm just stood there. Yeah, yeah, and you know that in America <clears throat> this will happen again, and so I think exactly they also that. need to look at their policy, whatever it is. Yeah. So what happens when it when it happens again? I mean, hopefully yeah. it doesn't happen again anytime soon. But you know, unfortunately, that in America, the the, the cause of death now for children is actually by shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Is the biggest cause of death to children, which is extraordinary, isn't it? Yeah. And and you know, for me, when I was watching it, all I could think of, I don't know why. Uh, was the image of firefighters at 9-11 running up the stairs uh, in the World Trade Centre when yeah, everybody else the was, was running down yeah. the stairs. Yeah. And you yeah. want yeah. the emergency services to be the people that do that because that's what they're yeah. paid Where for. Where are you on this, Nicola? I, I think if the families wanted it to be released, then it's, mm. you know, ultimately it's the families that, that should have the say on that. The problem is when it gets leaked publicly is that will live on in perpetuity. And whereas I completely agree that, you know, a family member would, m might want to choose to see that, now they don't have a choice. And it's going to be seen forever and ever and, and shared. Even though I know that there's obviously a public interest aspect to this, always with these kind of cases, I just think... Gosh, that poor family member has to watch that over and over again. But then again, if, if it was their choice and they'd rather it be in the public domain yeah. rather than hidden away, then every credit to them. And, and I, I actually believe that all police body cam footage or CCTV footage should be released to victims' families so they can build a case. Yeah. Because there's so, they, much, they need to. so much secrecy around police work, yeah. it would seem, in America in particular. Also, the thing is... Living in a country where mm. somebody can walk into a high school or a, a, oh. a junior school with an assault rifle. I was just, I was just, just about to say that. Yeah. Imagine that.
can't. Because the thing is, I mean, obviously this this case, this this tragedy embodied, you know, the issue of America and you know guns and who can have access to them and whether. But you know, one thing that did baffle me was in in, in the U.S. Federal buildings are you know secured by by you know armed men, right? Banks are secured, but schools are not. And I just think this is one of those common sense things that could be passed because, for instance. I mean, obviously, this this particular case is gross negligence on the part of, of of the police officers. But I just think the fact that he that that image of or that footage of him just walking in, strolling in with the, that that firearm, mm. without a care in the world, it's chilling. Mm. And for me, that should be the that should be what the country should take from this. Not just the fact that yeah. obviously the the police officers just did not do their job, but it's the fact that you have you know armed officers outside federal buildings because you think federal employees are worth protecting but not children in schools, that's just mm. unforgivable. It is absolutely unforgivable.